to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl. And my sidekick Kalua is right here behind me holding me up. She's actually taking a little bit of a nap. We just came in from outside. It was a warm one in the valley here today. I'm not complaining, but it was warm. Um, but with that being said, it's never too warm to go to Dollar Tree. And I'm so glad I did because I found so many new things that I didn't think I was gonna find for quite a while. And to my surprise, OMG, I am going to say, there she is, hello. Two, two cutes. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Oh, there's so much. All right. <clears throat> Let's start off with earbuds. Yes, earbuds, what you stick in your ears to listen to your music to. So these first ones, I wanna say these are all gonna be like a um, Greenbrier product. Yes, they are. So the first one, look at this. It's got pineapples. Oh my gosh. Are those too cute or what? I was like, how adorable is that? The next one I found, watermelon look at the little slices of watermelon so when you stick them in your ears you're gonna see watermelons are those two too cute or what oh my gosh so summery and so fun and you know what's funny is i'm usually at the ocean a few times a year and it never fails when i'm at the beach how many pairs of flips or flops um, and what I mean by that is usually one's a flip and one's a flop, flip flops. That's what I call them anyways. You find one or you find earbuds or it's amazing what you find on the beach and you're always finding earbuds. It's like the biggest thing I think I find on the beach. The next one here, donuts. Now, when you can get these for a dollar, obviously, you know, I've used them before. I have to use an adapter because I don't have a plug-in, but they work. I mean, I... <laughs> They work. There's not a, is there a microphone in these? I don't believe so. No, this one doesn't have the built-in microphone that you can talk, but you know what? They work, they do the job. And when I'm like going from one car to another or in a purse or out of a purse or in a bag or out of a bag, I don't care. You know, if I lose them, it's not the end of the world. Or if somebody needs a pair, I can more than happy share them. Um, Rave Hairspray, it's been around forever. I saw this for the very first time at Dollar Tree. This is a four fluid ounce bottle of Rave four times Mecca Hold extra strong hairspray with Clema Shield. Okay, guy doing wheelies past the house. Um, it's humidity proof, long lasting hold with white lily and rice protein. So I did give it a little spurts when I got home and it really smells nice. I tend to use unhent unhented. Whoop, there's the first blooper. I tend to use unscented hairsprays because if I'm wearing a perfume, I don't want to put hairspray on and have that mingle with my perfume. Just like with body look, you know, I try to stay simple. I try to layer the scent I have, whether it be with you know, uh, a lotion, then the same perfume or whatever. So I usually stay with unscented. Now this scent, I will say it's light, it's refreshing, and it doesn't linger for that long of a period of time. So I grabbed just a couple bottles because you know what? It's always good just to have an extra bottle on hand. Again, this is the pump. It's not an aerosol. This is the pump that you have to push, okay? Again, it's four ounces and Rave is a brand name. I hit up the candy aisle and oh, that was such a big mistake. Whee! Between toys, candy, and I don't want to give it away, but between toys, candies, and the school aisle, 50 bucks. Pew! Blown up in the air. All right, let me continue. Haichu! Not achu, haichu. It is, in my opinion, the the same is almost like a Starburst. 2.12 ounce package. Green apple and mango flavor is in this package. I've never seen the Haichu in the package like this before. So this was definitely new in my area. Expiration date is August 21st of 2021. They also had 
Uh, same size bag, 2.1 ounce. This one has grape flavor and strawberry flavored. So I was happy to find that. Again, August of uh, 2021. Here's your expiration date right there. So you have plenty of time. They're all individually wrapped up. There's a grape one. There's a strawberry one. Also, I found these now and later morphs. And it says, experience the flavor evolution. I wonder if I'm going to get the same sensation I do from my York Peppermint Patty as I'm cooling and sliding down the slopes. Okay. Um, I actually need a recliner for that, right? Poor Kalua, I scared her. I'm sorry, puppies. I'm sorry. Okay. This is a 3.5 ounce bag. This is what it looks like. It's new. It looks like they got something going on there, but it was new, so I thought I'd give it a shot. I love this color bag. Look at all the purples. In fact, I'm just noticing here on the back some of the flavors. You get lemon, lime, strawberry. That's one flavor. Well, it's two flavors, but that's one kind. The other one is cherry mango, grape watermelon, and blue raspberry lemon. There you go. Mm -mm -mm. Hopefully they won't be too sour. Then this was new and it says new on the package. So Jolly Rancher Misfits, two in one gummies. You get green apple and cherry, blue raspberry and watermelon and strawberry lemon. And these are really soft and squishy. Expiration date is July of 2021. I just thought it was kind of fun. It was different and it's funny because I always kind of considered myself a misfit. As weird as that may be, there's this long story behind that. But anyways, um, I just thought it was cute. And it said new, so, you know, if it said old, I probably wouldn't have bought it. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, here's something that really took me back. I have never seen anything like this at Dollar Tree, at least in my area. Um, my bag. I had another one. I believe Miss Kalua is sitting on it. Okay, well, it'll be warm. This is a company out of, they're Virginia Beach, I think. Uh, yeah, Virginia Beach. Virginia Beach, Virginia. It is Forbes. Are you guys ready? Salt water taffy. OMGs. Look at this. So it's the flavor of creamsicle. Here is your bag. We have to check this out, right? So it says it's a 0.4 ounce bag. The expiration date is May of 2021, okay? These are so soft, they just smush. And there is what they look like. They also, I had a couple of them, but I believe since Kalua kind of came back the other way, she's sitting on them. The other flavor, there was only two flavors at my store. And I just got a couple of each. The other flavor, watermelon. Again, a four ounce package, Forbes from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Look at this. Now, I, I just, you know, I have to, right? I have to. I'm gonna open this baby up. Oh my gosh. It's like watermelon explosion. And they are, I'm telling you, look at, I'm gonna do this just for video purposes. Can you see how soft that is? Look at me squishing it. It's so soft. It's even got the little dot in the middle. It's a standard size piece of taffy. It's not like, you know, regular taffy. I'm sorry, but I have to. Mm, oh my God. You know, another thing, when I go to the ocean, there's always boardwalks. And when you have boardwalks, what do you have? Souvenirs. And you spend insane money for stuff that if you go to the local Walmart, <laughs> this is what I do, my bad, right? I go to the local Walmart to wherever I am vacationing. I get my souvenir, I'm letting out a big secret here. <laughs> I get most of my souvenirs that I bring back for people from Walmart because they sell stuff with their name. Like if I'm in Maine, or New Hampshire, or Connecticut. It's true, because if you buy their stuff on the boardwalks, it's a fortune. All right, let me move on, because I'm going to just get myself in a whole bunch of trouble. And this is so good. There's not an aftertaste. It definitely tastes like taffy. 
It's definitely tastes like watermelon and I got a big wad right here. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, moving on. I saw somebody haul these pens and I'm like, it's going to be a month before I see them. And then here today, I was like, oh my gosh. So I had to get one in every color that I saw. I don't know if there's more colors, but I'll show you what I have. These measure, as I'm chewing here, Mm, 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 mm. Um, oh, let me swallow that there. Okay. These measure from the top of the little unicorny head all the way to the bottom seven inches. And look. Oh, look at that face. So, is it a unicorn kitty? It looks like a kitty face. And then it's got a unicorn. They all write in black. They have a little cap. But when you turn it over, I'm sorry, but I don't know what you are all thinking, but that does not look like a butt. It looks like a boob with a nipple. Is it me or is that not a boob with a nipple? I'm telling you that looks like a boob with a nipple. Just my opinion and my opinion only. But they also had, they had one in blue. They had one in pink. And there's the backside. And I'm telling you, it looks like a boob, right? It's a boob. Here, now you have a set of boobs. Tell me those are boobs. I have no idea. It's just a little butt, but it looks like a boob. And then, yes, they had purple. So these were the three colors that I found. Again, if there's more, I really don't know. But I was happy to find those. And now I just need probably to buy another container to put pens in because I am like running out of room. Okay. They had, oh my gosh, I have so much. I don't know where to go. There was so much new stuff. It was unreal. Okay, so let me go here. I'm like, whoa, where do I go? Where do I go? Um, Rizzo, I'm so excited. I'm just, ah! Okay, these measure four inches by four inches. Oh, isn't that adorable? Now, please don't mind this. This is just the tag that they have attached to it, and this comes off. This is a beautiful little seashell. Let's see if it lights up. First of all, there's a little hole in the back with a slot where you could pop it right on a screw or a nail if you wanted to hang it on a wall. Now, it does take a battery, but for now, that battery is in there. So what you want to do is make sure when you get it, it's got one of these tabs in there. Because if it doesn't, somebody's already been playing with it and the battery's probably half dead, don't get it. Make sure yours has a tab in it. Pull your tab out. Ooh. Ooh, I know there's a glare and I apologize for that. It's just there's so much light coming off of this. Do you see like the streaks like I do? It's almost like whew, like a shooting star. Um, but there it is. I don't want to bright. Can you guys see that okay? Somebody yell. I think you can. So here is the seashell. I'm telling you, there's a lot of light there. There's no, you know, it's not shine in any way, shape, or form. And then there's a little tab in the back where you shut it off and when those batteries run out here's where you pop the little thing open right here and your little batteries are going to go in there and those are going to be like those little small watch batteries but they sell them at Dollar Tree so you don't have to worry about that and always what I like to do is when I'm not using things like this I put the tab back in there because then that saves your battery because if I turn it on now it's not going to light up because the battery is not making a connection. Just another way of saving your battery. So I had to pick me up a couple of those. They only had one color, which was this pink. So I managed to get a few of those. And then they had the little tree. Oh my gosh, I like, I so bad now with all the lays and everything they have out right now, I so bad wanna have a Hawaiian party. I would love to do that. This one here is just shy of five inches in height. It's going to be the same exact type. This is made of plastic. You have your tag in the back here, so don't mind this string. And I'm going to go ahead and pull that piece out. And we're going to turn it on. Ooh, look at that. I mean, it's got such a nice flat bottom, and this does come off. You could put that on your desk. I'm just thinking Hawaiian party and have these like on the table in the middle of the table, one facing one way and then, you know, one facing the other. So from both sides of the table, people get lit stuff and then a shell every, 
Oh my God. I, I really, <laughs> I love parties. I love throwing parties. I would love to just like plan parties probably for a living. It's something that I wanted to do way back in the day. Um, but I do enjoy it. Um, it's always fun to plan stuff. And I did get three of these as well because I did have three of the shells. There were no other colors. There were no other designs that I saw or I definitely would have grabbed them. So I'm not saying that there weren't any. I'm just saying that I didn't see any other ones. Okay, some new Spyro notebooks. And these are, I was so tickled. Like I could have walked out of Dollar Tree with just what I showed you already and been <sighs> orgasmically satisfied. How's <laughs> that for a, wow. Um, I, I just, it was such a pleasure to find those things. I was just tickled. I was like, skipping around the store for you know a change and I've had such a rough week okay new notebooks oh my gosh now hardbound spiral bound this comes off it's a sticker it does come off thank god because it really would have pissed me off if it didn't if you watch my channel you know how that aggravates the hell out of me are you ready unicorns are my spirit animal omg look at me oh is that adorable or what now when i open it we were getting a little fancy here we have purple fancy dotted lines and then every page has a heart but it's not just on the front it's on the back i'm telling you whoa i'm telling you and this is from Dollar Tree themselves, it's a green briar, not a jot. And by the way, there's 80 sheets in there. Is that just two cutes or what? I don't even know which one is better because they're all unique in their own way. Embrace your inner unicorn. Voila! Oh, am I? I mean, anybody that is a unicorn fanatic like myself, you know, has gone to heaven. These are so adorable. Again, hardback. 80 sheets, spiral bound, and when you open this one, it has the same design inside as the other one did. I have another one from the same collection. Roll me in glitter and call me a unicorn. <laughs> I love that. Roll me in glitter and call me a unicorn. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, right? This also has the same design I don't care it's it doesn't matter because I think this is adorable and especially that it's purple I'm not complaining at all again this sticker does come off Whew, thank goodness last but not least ride a unicorn swim with mermaids chase rainbows oh yes absolutely really really cute 80 sheets you can't go wrong I just absolutely love the notebooks like this from Dollar Tree. It's just a really a lot of bang for your buck. It really is. Okay, now you could do anything you want with these. There's so many different uses and they're so cool. And usually Dollar Tree gets them every now and then. They say they're called envelope pouches, but technically you do whatever you want with them. All right, let me give you a measurement first. I found... Four different colors. I don't know if there's more colors. These are five and a half by eight inches. Five and a half by eight. This sticker peels off. So don't think that you're not going to be able to get that off. It peels off quite well. This up here is just a little bit of like goo and that just comes right off. Okay. So this is removable. Is that adorable or what? And all this bling you're getting is because it is full of bling. It has a snap. You could put anything you want in here, really. I mean, you could use it for a makeup pouch. You could put coupons in here. You could put, um, you could make this into somebody's happy mail or a friend mail. Fill it up with surprises and use this as the package to put it all in and then put it into a, a box or a bag. So I found this color, which I really, really like. Then I found this color, which is just screaming teal. 
So here's your blue. I thought it was very important. I wanted to make sure that I got both of these because there is quite a color difference. So there's your first two colors. Then you have this opalescent white one. It's not really white, it's clear, but it's all opalescent. See all those colors going through? And then last but not least, I would have died for a purple one, but this was about as close as I was gonna get to a purple one, and I'm quite happy. It's this beautiful pinkish rose color. Again, they all have snaps. Perfect for coupons, perfect for anything you want it to be. Again, I only saw these four colors. I am not sure if there's any other colors. If there are, I will keep my eyes open, but those are the ones that I found. Right? I'm like, that right there is just, woo! Whoop, whoop. Okay. Um, gosh, there's so much. Um, um, nail polish. I found some new Kiss nail polishes. The new Kiss gel nail polishes. Now, do I have something to do a swab on? Sure, because I'm gonna use a piece of paper out of my brand new unicorn book to show you all. Okay, you just fold this up here. I need to change my nail polish, it's getting kind of scary. All right, this first one is, they're all 13 milliliters, they're all made by Kiss, they're all gel. This one here is called Marvelous. It's Marvelous. So there it is. Let's do a swatch real quick. I always make sure I check my nail polishes at the store because I've had um, gone through the checkout, been in the car, driving, and it's like, what does that smell? It's like, holy crap. Go in your bag and there's nail polish everywhere. So I make sure I tighten everything before it goes in my car. As it's going down the conveyor belt, I'm tightening up. Just me and how I roll. Okay, I really like this. And that is just one coat. So that is the Mauvulus. I would say that's pretty true to color. That's one coat. I really like that. That is really, really pretty. Okay, so there's the first one. More stuff falling on the floor. The second one is called Red Red. Red Red is the color. So to me... I'm thinking these are more like fall type colors. I'm not saying you can't wear them in the summer. You can do whatever you want to do. I stay in my own lane, you stay in yours. I'm just saying there's fall stuff coming out already, which just, it's too soon. It's way too soon, way too soon. All right, so let me give this color a try. I'm just doing one coat. Obviously when you do a second coat, woo, I got a buzz going on there. Um, <clears throat> once you do a second coat, it usually gets darker. All right, so the second one is red, red. And there's your first coat right there. I really do like that color, that's pretty. Now, let me do the third one I have is called Tipsy. And that's more of like a pink. So let me just open this one up real quick. Or try to anyways. Are you gonna like sleep through this whole video or are you gonna come say hi to everybody? Are you just gonna be stuck up? Okay, this next one. Again, it's called Tipsy. Let me just tighten it up. And there it is. So I really like all three colors. I think they're all very pretty. So I'm looking forward to trying those out. Let me set that off to the side so I don't knock it over. Okay, also, I had to get me some more nuts because I have like, probably six or seven now chipmunks that are coming over and hanging out by me when I sit outside. And it's funny because the moment I go outside, they all just show up. Like they're all checking and looking for me. And so I have to bring out my bag of nuts. And right now they have these at Dollar Tree and sometimes I'll, you know, have a few myself. They're a 10 ounce bag. They're the salted roasted peanuts. These are so good. They're made by Hampton Farms. Where is Hampton Farms? Uh... North Carolina, these are really good. You know, sometimes you can get inexpensive peanuts like this and they don't taste all that great, but 
I've gotten these for years from Dollar Tree and they really are good and they go down even better with a cold beer. Okay, moving on. Oh, I got so much, where do I go? Okay, this was the very first time I've ever bought this before. Arizona tea. Everybody says to me the Arizona teas are really, really good. I don't drink a lot of, I, I don't drink pop. I'm not a pop drinker for those of you. Well, actually out here, they call it soda. I'm Chicago, it's pop and it'll always be pop. That's just what it is. <laughs> um, and I don't mean that mean, it's just pop. Um, I drink more juice, but not a lot of juice with sugar. I like to control my sugar intake with juices that I make myself. Anyway, long story short, right? Like get to the point, Beth. The store manager said to me, have you ever tried it? I'm like, no. I'm like, have you? He goes, yeah, it's pretty good. I said, are you sure? He goes, yeah. So I'm trying it and uh, I'm gonna give a shout out to um, you. You know who you are. I said I wouldn't say your name because I don't want to embarrass him. And it's like, like, who's gonna know you? A bazillion other people have the same first name. Anyways, it's watermelon fruit juice cocktail. Um, it's a 34 fluid ounce, which is one liter. It says all natural flavors, no preservatives, no artificial color, no artificial flavor. And of course, what is the very first ingredient? Water. Well, that was a get dead giveaway. I'm just checking, is it made with um, sugar? It's actually made here in Woodbury, New York. Is it made with sugar or is it like that aspartame, subfluflo, fraba stuff? I don't know, I'm not sure. I definitely have to check it out. So I'm curious. Anybody tried any of the flavors, please let me know down below what you think of them and how you liked them. Um, I'm sure anything tastes good with vodka, so I'm sure it'll work. But I'm just curious how they taste by themselves. All right, so there's some controversy going on. Um, I don't talk about religion. I don't talk about politics. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion, and that's that. I stay in my own lane. But I did take it upon myself to get something, uh, a second package, because I just got this the other day, and then I heard all this stuff come down. Um, but uh, I made sure to get a box of these. I'm not going to elaborate any further. For those of you that watch our news channels, know what I'm talking about. But I got a box because this is a huge childhood memory for me. And I just want to keep it. Enough said. All right, moving on. I found some new squishies. OMG. Today was unicorn day. There is no other way to describe it. Oh, here's my other bag of taffy. I accused Miss Kalua of sitting on my taffy and here it was. This was the second bag of the other flavor that I got. Okay, so, and here goes everything tumbling. You should see my floor. If I took a picture right now of my floor, half the stuff I just showed you is on the floor. All right, moving on. This is a squishy toy. Oh, but it's a pretty one. Wait, it's got dirt on it because I just made that happen. All right, check it out. <gasps> Follow the rainbow. It's a rainbow squishy. Now the tag, of course, is in its way, but, you know, it squishes. This one is like a hard one. It's not like the ones that are real soft. So this one definitely has, it says squishy, and you can squeeze it. But it's not like one of those soft ones that come up slowly. Um, this one is just kind of hard right off the bat. So here it is. Let me give you a measurement. What a cute little thing to like put on your desk because you've got so much on the bottom here. It's plenty of room to just stand it up. It measures four and a half inches. So it's not a little dinky one. It's a really cute size. They didn't have any other colors. The color patterns were all the same on every one. But then, oh, this is so cute. Are you ready? Let me measure it first. Can you guys guess? Three and a half inches by five inches. Here it comes, here it comes. Uh-oh, it's got a horn. Oh, look at that. Now that's just, it does have a little hole, peekaboo. Hello. Um, but it's a squishy and it's a unicorn one. Oh my gosh, is that cute or what? Um, I just, I, I don't know. They were at the register and I was like, oh my God, more unicorn stuff. Like, and I still got a whole basket full yet to go. But 
I'm just like so hyped up right now. <laughs> no, it's weird. I really just had a good time today. I just found some really neat things. I have a whole basket full of more neat, brand new things I want to share with you all, but that's definitely going to have to be in a separate video. Kalulu, can you wake up for a second? Kalu, she's just out. Kalua, hey, moppy head. Kalu, here, let me show you guys what I'm dealing with here. Let me try to adjust my camera. Let me move away this bin so you don't all see. Look at her sleep in there. See how she's like sacked out? See her right there? Let me see if I can. Clue. Yoo-hoo. Is this your stinky foot? There you are. Hi. Everyone's wondering where you've been. Oh, I'm not going to rub your belly. Aw, you go rub her belly. I'm going to rub her belly. She's such a good girl. She's tired. She's so tired. Life is so rough. All right, everybody. So there she was. I know you haven't seen her for a while. Um... <laughs> She's a hoot, man, and her feet smell like Fritos. All right, everybody, until next time. Maybe only dog owners know that. I don't know. Until next time, everybody, any questions, comments, or concerns, bitches, moans, or groans, hit me up down below. Until next time, thank you all so much for your support. I have a happy mail video I am in the middle of putting together. I received some wonderful handmade items that are just absolutely amazing and i'm going to share them with all of you and some other things that came some birthday mail came and um oh my gosh yeah like my birthday's in well my birthday's the 30th so i'm getting closer to being older and i don't like it all right well that's life right <laughs> until next time everybody bye bye for now